working on this Sega Saturn here. I wanted to share something interesting with the internet on how this thing is working. Um, the CD lens wasn't reading the the games. It was only reading CD audio. Um, so I tried to clean the heck out of the laser there, and I wound up like half breaking it because then when I put the disc back in it wasn't detecting the disc at all and it wasn't spinning the disc at all because the way these things work it has to detect the disc is there before it even tries to spin it um so I'm pretty sure this laser is going to have to be replaced because I got it to spin again but it's still not reading I think it's just really way too dirty I was looking at it and there's just weird little spots on the lens that it, I either can't wipe off without breaking the lens or I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it's going to clean up. Uh, but interestingly, if you put the CD audio disc in there, which I have the thing tripped so that it always thinks the disc is in, and it already read this disc and got its table of contents before I started this video, so that's why this is going to work. Uh, if I play the audio, it sounds like garbage. It just sounds like complete garbage, which is so interesting because it's reading the data. It's just reading it wrong. So to see the audio is like, okay, this just sounds like garbage. But when you try to run a game, it's like, nah, I can't run that. I thought that was really interesting. I never, I never knew that was a thing with these. I got the RF output hooked up to this uh, oscilloscope here, and it looks good. I think I've heard other YouTubers talking about like one volt peak to peak or something like that, and this is running like one volt peak to peak right now. So I don't know. Like it looks like everything's cool. It says, I can't even read that, why is that so exposed for that? It's uh, 500 millivolts per division, and it's like right around two divisions, so it's right about one volt peak to peak. Um, you can, I wanted to just basically show that little adjustment potentiometer in the back there. That's what that adjusts, is that peak to peak voltage when it's running. If I turn it down, I don't think I had it. There you go. See how it dropped? If I go down much further, the CD's going to stop playing. If you go up, that voltage gets higher. That's probably like way too much. So it seems like that potentiometer is set right. It's just not doing what it's supposed to do.